So we have logged into our ESXi host and you'll see that I have a number of invalid status uh, VMs. It could be that the underlying storage of that VM has moved, has changed, the VM has been corrupted, has been deleted, has been moved to another SAN, a storage device. And as a result of that, your VMware ESXi host no longer knows what it is. As long as you're aware that if you're deleting it, then um, you need to add it in manually if that VM actually does exist. So just be careful when you are deleting these. Now there are a couple ways to do this. If you are logged into the GUI, into the web console itself, you can select the VM and go into the actions area right here. It may allow you to unregister or delete it. In my case, you'll see, you'll see that this particular one is grayed out. Let's try to select another one. So number 13, that's also grayed out. Doesn't even let me go into actions. At the moment, through this web interface, I can't really do anything. So what I want to do is I want to enable SSH on this ESXi host and then connect to it using something like PuTTY. So from the ESXi host itself, you want to select Manage and then you want to go to the Services tab right here and you want to scroll down TSM SSH. You see that my service is running. So you need to actually enable SSH on that ESXi host that you can then log into the command line, essentially the back end of that ESXi host via a simple command line. So if you haven't got it running, go and run it, make it say start. Um, you can also go into the actions area right here, start and stop as well. But then once it's running, you should be good to go. Um, if you're on a computer that can see the ESXi host, I'm hoping that you've got no issues on a firewall that your SSH ports are open. So we're assuming that that is okay. Um, I am here on a Mac, so I've logged into my ESXi host. So I've done this via terminal on my Mac. Uh, you can do this over PuTTY on a Windows PC or a Windows server. Making sure that you have logged in as root to the IP address or the full, you know, fully qualified name, the DNS name of your ESXi host that is hosting that particular VM. So from within here, once you're logged in, you wanna type in this command right here, which is vim cmd forward slash VM SVC forward slash get all VMs. This is just gonna provide you a bit of an overview. Let's just make this full. It's gonna give you a bit of an overview of essentially every VM that is running on that ESXi host. You'll see that there is also a VM ID. That is the ID that you're going to use to remove this invalid VM from your ESXi host. Now you'll see that at the very top, got a number of VMs that are saying skipping invalid VM followed by a number. That is the number of the VM ID. Okay, so that is the number that we're gonna be using to go and remove that VM. From here, you run a secondary command, similar to the last one, and you're typing in here, unregister, followed by the VM ID. Okay, so I'm gonna say VM ID 12, and I'm gonna say VM 13, and VM 21. You see that in my GUI, I'm actually seeing a bit of a success right here from my results area. So it is doing it and it's been you know, presented in the GUI, 25, six. So we can come back to the others. I'll just go back to my VMs. You'll see that right here, I've only got two left, seven and eight, seven and eight. And then I have successfully removed those VMs that uh, we're not playing very well. That's it for now. Love it if you gave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to Digital Byte Computing. Click on the notification bell to keep up to date with my released videos. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.